Here comes one. Oh, there he goes. He got it. Here we go, buddy. Ready? You got it? Aww. That's awesome. Here we go. There you go. Did you get it? All right. All going, guys. What's going on, adventurers? Today we are in Tarpon Springs, Florida at the Tarpon Springs Aquarium, which has been in existence for 30 years, but this one that we're at right now, this is a new location. They used to be located on the sponge docks, and now they have a location before you get into the sponge dock area. We just got here, but so far we're super excited because you can actually have interactive experiences with the animals. We bought some tickets so that we can feed the animals. For 20 tickets, it was like $15.99, I think. And if you're a Florida resident, they currently have a special until the 31st of this month, which is May. Uh, it's half price, 50% off. So no excuses, guys. Get out here and check this place out. It's a lot of fun. We've been here for five minutes and we're already having the time of our lives. We have Tiffany and Boston with us today. We're gonna have fun. Let's go. Look at the diamondback terrapins. Aren't they adorable? I love their coloration. Hi, buddy. Came up to say hi. I'm going to try. Oh, just kidding. It's supposed to get behind the pin. Oh, my goodness. But see, I can't hardly reach. You have to reach this is the week, guys. This is the week they so we get bit by a, by a shark. Can you get it? Oh, hi, there you go. <laughs> yeah. He did it. Look at all these little fishies swimming around. And there are some cute little crabs in here. This guy, Tiff just told me this guy was scratching himself. Look. It was this one? Yeah. Let's see if he tries to make a move for my camera. <laughs> oh, they see that. They see this. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, it's cute. They're it's adorable. Cute. I'll put one here. Hi, little guy. Hi. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they see. <laughs> Tiffany's gonna feed one of the rays. Did it get my? Okay, we're good. Here, you wanna get it from underneath? <laughs> Here, hold on. Oh, Aren't they cute? All right, ready? Look, you ready? I'm ready. Did you get it? Yeah, he got it. Here, right, put your hand in. Here, oh, that's so we're headed back to the tank where they're doing the scuba diving show. There is Scuba Paige. Everyone wave to Scuba Paige. Awesome. Now she can see you. So don't make any funny faces. Or if you do, make sure it's a good one. Um, all right, she's gonna go ahead and make a round around the tank. Make sure her equipment is working. Now, in a second, you might see our Goliath or grouper, Oscar, um, come around because he knows when someone jumps in like that, that it's feeding time. Um, Goliath groupers are exceptionally smart. Um, and he knows who his owner is. Just like a puppy dog, they know who their owner is. What is Paige doing? You see her back there, she's driving that boat. But he can't move because he fell out. That's true, he cannot move. Um, oh, hold on, she's gonna go find Oscar. He's around here somewhere, by the way, up above, up above us is the feeding tank, so you might hear some feet. But, oh, look who I see. Oh, wow. Do you see him? Wow. There he is. So that boat is his home. And uh, they usually like caves and holes, but we decided to upgrade his house into a nice boat. Um, really fast. Oh. 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 Watch this. Oh. He has two to three rows of teeth. And uh, he's allowing her to put her hand in there because he loves his tongue rubbed. He loves that feeling. Paige is also checking in there for parasites, anything wrong with his teeth. She's also his dentist. 
Okay, this is how we give Oscar a bubble bath. He uh, will sometimes even grab her mouthpiece out of her mouth so that we'll give him a bubble bath. But he loves the feeling of those bubbles on his skin. Isn't that funny? It's the group She's giving him a bubble bath. Ta-da! <laughs> This is his feeding time, and he knows it. He's like moving to her. Yep, he follows her, and that hand slamming against the water is to let him know, hey, I have food, let's go eat. All right, there's that fist, I have food. Now watch him eat. But there's a little blue crab hanging out here in the baby shark tank. He is on guard. So that was a really cool scuba show. We really enjoyed that. Oscar the Grouch was awesome. He was a ginormous Goliath grouper. And it was cool to see one so up close. I didn't realize that they were so friendly. I was always kind of afraid of them. Like when we went snorkeling, I was afraid we would see one. But now knowing what I know, how they're kind of like big puppy dogs, I wouldn't be so scared. How about you? Nah, they're big puppy dogs. However, yeah, he was cool. I don't know, if they don't know you, it may be a different thing. That's true. I mean, I wouldn't approach one, but I don't think I would try my best to avoid them either. Like I have been in the past. So, we're getting ready to feed some rays now, guys. Some more awesome animals that we have to check out still. So, let's go do it. Kind of slippery. Here comes one. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. It's right here, huh? It's right there. We got it. Him another one. I don't have anything. <laughs> I threw one in. No, he just came up there weird noise at Here comes a, a herd. <laughs> herd. Did he get it? Aww. Did he get it? I think he got it. There he goes. He got it. Here we go, buddy. Ready? You got it? Aww. That's awesome. And another one? Let me get here. Clean I got the last clean one. There's the last one. It wants it. This little guy. Here we go. There you go. Did you get it? All right. All gone, guys. It's all gone. That's it. So, guys, just pay attention when you get done feeding your animals. They have these recycled bins. And they actually, um, you can just throw your little cups in there, your feeding cups. So, that's awesome. They have wash stations for your hands. I'm getting ready to head over there right now. This hand has some shrimp on it. Jaden! 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 How was that? It was so cute. Ooh, boa constrictor. Where is he? Somebody's in the pool, in the water. Who's that? Is that a boa? See him back there? No. Oh, that's oh, a turtle. That's a turtle. Oh, that's what Boston has. We're going to do the alligator feeding, guys, and um, they give you a what would you call that? A little fishing rod? We're going gator fishing. No, gator. And what is that? Chicken? I think it might be a piece of hot dog. Hot dog. Oh, hot dog. Okay. Yeah. We all know from Gatorland, hot dog uh, alligators love hot dogs. Oh, they're swarming. Oh, here comes one. We put it in the slip. Pretty inventive here. Get it in, you ready? Here he goes. Jump a roo. You almost got it, buddy. Oh, he got it. He got it. I feel bad for that guy didn't get it. He one. didn't get it at all. Where do you want me to do it? Right in front of where you are? Yeah. That's good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Jump a roo. You got it, buddy. Come on. You didn't get it. Here comes one. Oh, he's going for it. He didn't get it either. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? You're gonna get it. You got it. Come on, little guy. Go get it. Yeah, there it is. All right, your turn. I'll set your bait for you. Okay, guys, Lisa's all set up here with her bait. She's gonna do it. She is going gator fishing. Yeah. Gotta get this in here. Our hot dog seems to be. Oh, it came off. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. All right. You got it. So buy it over with that there, I guess. We got Ready? one. We got okay, one coming go. for it. We got one coming for Market it. Market set. Go. Here he comes. Go, little guy. You have to really lower it down. They can't get it. 
That one tried. String is short. Oh my. No, he got it. He got it. You got it. Good job, bud. He can jump. Oh, I know that. All right. She got her. Got the hang of this. Again. I could do this all day long. I know. This is fun. I might have to get some more tickets. This is my favorite part. Go for it, buddy. Almost. You, you got know this. the problem? They can't see in front of them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think that one's missing. Here it comes. Oh, I got Ooh, it. Oh, I got so tension on that string. <laughs> Last one for now, unless we decide to buy some more tickets. Still got to feed the turtles, though. We didn't do that yet. Oh, look at those two. Here they come. Here it comes for it. Go on, buddy. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. One of y'all is going to get it. Okay, stop. Stop. Get it. Almost. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Somebody's going to get it. It's like Hungry Hungry Hippo, except for the gator version. I can't see it. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, my goodness. It's like a gator pile. Oh, he got it. He got it. I felt the tug. All right. Got it? So funny. He's really getting into his meal. He's laying on his bowl. He's probably trying to be dominant um, towards the bowl. So, just chilling in the house like, nah, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, well, she's the one that he's been bullying the most, so she's probably just being smart about it. <laughs> and, uh, Maybe tortoise bullying, bullying is a thing. Sounds like it. Oh. Yeah, Can't he's get showing that bull who's boss. Is he coughing? He's coughing his poop. I think she said he's being dominant over the, bu uh, the bull. Yeah, that's like a dominant thing. He's, he's in like charge. He'll try to mount other dogs to show dominance. Oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> wow, I think you got the food bowl. <laughs> the food bowl understands. That oh you're my dominant. goodness. Hey, but if he's distracted by the food bowl, then right. that's fine. <laughs> he's <a bowl. laughs> oh, he's just going to go to sleep on the bowl. 100%. Wow. They all are. They, it's so funny. They each have their own personality. Look at this guy. <gasps> he is you know, trucking. Emotions. Let's see what happens. Look, he sees him coming. Oh. Uh oh. Now she's coming out. She's making her. Uh oh. Out. You distracted him. He was doing so good. It's like that a bowl. chess game. <laughs> she doesn't care. She's coming up. Now he's leaving. This one's moving. Oh, well, look at the spurs oh. on his back legs. See them? So they're also called um, African spurred tortoises. Mm. Wow. Because uh, they're from the Sahara Desert. Oh. And uh, yeah, they have those spurs. So Those were hurt. are the same kind of tortoise, um, And the oldest is Bobble right there, climbing up on into the enclosure. But he's, I think he's thirty years old. I need to go wow. check the actual story. Tell people. Look at him. Can't quite. Oh, oh yeah. got it, Bobble. buddy. I knew you could do it. Just landed. And you can see that in how they were built. You know, the tortoises have elephant-like limbs, um, and they are not built for swimming where the tor or the turtles will have those webbed feet. Um, they're more flat-footed. So, yeah. A little anatomy lesson. Mm. Mm. There comes the other one. Watch this. Are they gonna... Oh. Okay. Like more drama. Oh. Oh. Well, that was nice. Give him the right away. Uh-oh, now he's going back, he's back after him. Back. They were raised from when they were babies together, and then Boulder actually passed away, and, and Pebble went to boarding. She wouldn't Aww. eat, she wouldn't leave that corner for days. That's awful. Because they're social, they need their friends, they need their siblings. So. This guy's name is Donkey. What about Donkey? Looks like the alligator snapping turtle knows it's about time for his buddy Donkey to get fed. I wonder if they feed him too during the show. Has anybody here ever seen a wild alligator? Oh, nice, a lot of us, most of us, very nice. So tell me this, my friends, when you see your wild alligator, should you pet him? No. <laughs> should you feed him? No. Why not? Why is it a bad plan? Tell me. You know, I like to look at it like this, right? Let's use Donkey for example. Um, in some ways, Donkey is really smart, and in some ways, he's not quite as smart as us, is he? Now, first, let me tell you the really smart part. 
I would say in some ways he's smarter than me because if you took this big guy tomorrow and you brought him out into the wild, which by the way, he's been in captivity his whole life. He has never hunted for food, not even once. And you just plop right in the middle of the Florida swamp. He's going to be fine. He'll find food, make friends, probably carve out a little territory, be the dad of a bunch of babies and live to a ripe old age. If you took Miss Page and did the exact same thing tomorrow, plop, Florida swamp, uh, four hours, I'm going to lie down and keel over from exhaustion. It's not going to go well for me because instinctually, I'm not very smart and he's a genius because he's got that little reptile brain. It's only about the size of his eyeball, but he knows what to do with it. However, can any of you answer uh, two plus two? Yeah, you all can, right? Four, of course, we all know that one. And he's never going to know two plus two. And just like he's never going to know two plus two, he cannot tell the difference between food we feed him and our fingers. And how could we expect him to do that? He's a meat eater. We're feeding him meat. And what am I made out of? Basically meat, right? So it's really not fair to ask him to know that. And because he can't ever know that, it creates a dangerous situation if we feed him. We might get bitten. Somebody else might get bitten. A dog might get bitten. Normally they're scared of people and that's how we like them to be. So never interact with a wild gator. Just come to the aquarium to do that. Yes, nice. sir. It's good morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe he's in a bad mood. Let's uh -oh. see. Come on, my friend. Chase that net right into the water for me. Let me see if I can get him to hop into the water. That's my goal because that creates the best situation for both of us. Now, Donkey is a little on the hefty side, I gotta say. But even though he looks big and he looks sluggish, I know he can move because like I said, I, I've been chased out before like closing the gate on a snapping mouth. It's just whether he decides to turn it on. And a gator of this size, he doesn't need to eat all the time, so sometimes that's not his number one priority. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you. As long as he doesn't come into the podium with me. That's the important part. Oh, we're almost there. One big lunge and you've got that net. Come on. He's thinking about it. I'll give him one more try. I'll just give him the food otherwise. Well, there's your picture right there. <laughs> that's your quintessential Florida teeth shot, right? All right, buddy, one more try. Come on. You know what he's doing? He has spent a lot of time today warming up in that sun all afternoon, in fact. And it took some, well, I don't know about hard work, but it took some time. And then this water, ooh, it's chilly. He's not wanting to get into that water because it's cold. Let me go ahead and offer him this fish because I don't want to force him to do something he doesn't want to do. Is that staying on the stick? This particular species of fish is hard to, there, that's going to stay, it's hard to get it to stay. Hey, my friend. Yeah, no, sir. Yeah, we're not going to eat me. See, this is why we don't feed wild alligators. I'm going to flip it to him, you ready? This is why we don't feed wild ones. Because we do not want them behaving like Donkey and Sheldon are behaving, and they will if we feed them. Because they can't tell the difference. I can't blame Donkey. Goodness gravy, if Donkey bit me and whatever, death rolled my arm off or something, I would never blame that animal. He's doing what comes naturally to an alligator. I'm taking all the risk. It's my responsibility. Any animal attack, it's never the animal's fault. Um, it's always going to be a person's fault. Maybe not the person that got bit even, but it's always some person's fault. There we go, buddy. Let me just get him turned around here. I'm going to get him turned not facing me. Oh, you sticking that booty up. I know, that, that net is touching you on the booty. Did you guys think he could move like that when he was sitting there like a bump on a log? Boy, they lull you into a false sense of security. He's still watching me is why I'm still doing it. Hey, Savannah, I'm going to have you go do this with that net over in the corner. See if we can get him going that way. Because he's still got his eye on the prize. There we go. Yeah, keep kind of touching him just to get him distracted that way. Look at him. He's still on me, isn't he? Here, girl, let's trade nets. Hand me yours first. So I have two. I'd rather have two than none. Yeah, I'll stick this in. Here, go ahead. 
because I'll just stick that in his mouth. And then he is rendered, and I'm going to hand you this one in just a second. Let me get one more side swipe that way. There we go. And you're going to do that with that net in the corner. That makes a better reaction. <laughs> Not all my gator shows are this exciting. Sometimes he hops in the water and eats like nothing else. And you can keep it really enticing. Like, I don't know. How do I say enticing? Make that net look delicious. <laughs> All right, you just keep kind of poking him. I'm gonna see if you can distract him enough for me to hop out of here and start the holding. Yep. Oh, that'll work. There you go. All right, why didn't he do that from the get-go? Good man, donkey. I don't have any more food to feed him, but while he comes over to eat you, I'm gonna leave the enclosure with all my limbs. <laughs> Nonetheless, I just wanted you to see the smile, because it's pretty <laughs> handsome, isn't it? And then, there we go. Um, Miss Savannah's got a little bit of tape. It's not going to hurt him at all, I promise. But it does make it a little safer for us. It's electrical tape, so it doesn't really stick to him as much as it sticks to itself. Aw. You're so sweet. Put your hand in on the... Glass like this, and they come and kiss you. Look, fine. Boston learned a trick with the stingrays. He gave me a high five. Look at these two. They're so friendly. Dang it. These are probably the friendliest rays I've ever seen. Everyone getting you? I wonder if they eat these fish that are in here with them. They do. Sometimes. <laughs> I wonder if they're big enough to eat. I guess so. That's what Ray's usually eat. They usually eat fish. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Look, ready? Mwah. Boston knows all the Mwah. tricks. They're like kisses. They're adorable. Okay, guys. So Lisa has some turtle food. Ew, it does. It it's, mo it's rotten turtle food, <laughs> and like, don't smell it. it smells like Ew. broccoli that has been sitting out in the hot sun for six months. <laughs> <laughs> Boston's gonna go ahead, and he's got it. His broccoli clipped in, and oh, here comes one. Who's gonna get it? Who's going for it? Who's going for it? Somebody got it. Oh, he's playing tug of war. He is playing tug of war with that broccoli stalk. Come on. Get it. <laughs> no, he didn't get it. He was just playing. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh. What is going on over here? I like that. Oh, somebody got it. Somebody oh, got it. Oh, my gosh. Almost like you could pull him up. <laughs> hey, yo, can you? Here comes a soft shell. Soft shell going for it. Oh, he got it. There's All right. Else. Oh, there he goes. Nice one. This is what you should do with your turtles. Yeah. All right, Lisa. I know you're hungry, but we are actually getting ready to go get some dinner. You don't. You don't have to eat the turtle. <laughs> I think I'll save that for the turtle. There you go. Boston's gonna handle that. Look at this beautiful iguana perched here. Sure let the stingrays on the kiss branch. Your he knows what we're talking about him. Look at that. He just looked it right out of the camera. He says, "What's up, adventurers? Wow. Have a good night, buddy." Look how like animated he is. I promise he's not an animatronic. You know what, earlier though, he was mad. He was like doing this with his yeah, head. Yeah, he was doing that. Up there. What happened? Yeah, he was like angry. What happened? Let me think about it. I don't know if you and your last children and I just watching you. And they're getting all the food. Saying goodbye to the sharks real quick, guys. Bye, buddy. Goodbye, little terrapins. I hope you guys have an awesome night. Look at the shark saying goodbye to us. See you later, Mr. Shark. It's gonna try to stick to the back of your throat as you swallow it. Uh, <laughs> with the suction cups. Oh my god, Jen said they're suction cups. <laughs> Are there really suction cups? 
Yeah, did you see it? There are? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there are. This is so cool. Look, I'm going to try one. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> that, was... God, that was a close one, guys. I really, I really thought it had me. You want one, Boston? Be careful, Boston. It might get you. <laughs> Adventures in I Arctic think it's safe to say that this is one food it's okay to play with. It has legs after all. I always thought they were larger. Oh, they're a giant squid. All right, I'm getting ready to cut into my octopus. You want some of the sauce on it? It's garlic butter to cover up the flavor. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it at the I'm same time. time. Bobby's? Alright. What does it smell like? You this? Want this one? I haven't even smelled it. I can't tell that. I can't tell, can you? Smell it. Probably smells like this. Alright, ready? Alright, cheers. One, two, three. Three. That's really not bad. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> What do you think? I haven't tried it yet. Did you like, oh, you didn't try it. He's going for it. Air. 